watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today I've got a budget knife for you guys today. This is one you actually can pick up at your local Walmart. Costs between $32 and $35. It's a double bladed Barlow, kind of unusual for uh, you to have two full size blades like this. The packaging is actually quite comprehensive in telling you what the knife is all about. Uh, it's got like a magnetic style close and you can see the the plastic in there holding the knife in a window style case. But let's just look really quickly at the specifications on the back here. Pretty much tells you everything you'd want to know. There's kind of a picture of it. So the blades are OS 8. The handle material is aluminum bolster with the uh, aluminum liners. And you have a marbled carbon fiber handle. It's a non-locking slip joint, obviously. And then we have the nail neck to open the blades. You have both a clip point blade and a sheep's foot blade. Both are titanium coated finish. And the weight of the knife is 3 ounces, 84 grams. Overall length, 6.5 inches or 165 millimeter. Blade length is 2 and 3 quarter or 69.9 millimeter. And the knife thickness, the blade stock, is 0 0.47 inches. Actually, that's going to be the height of the blade, I imagine. And then 11.9 millimeter. So, uh, yeah, it's very, uh, pretty much tells you quite a bit of detail in here. And just kind of goes over the same sort of things inside here. And they got like a numbering chart that kind of point out the different features of the knife. So you can see the Swiss Tech logo there and then the the metal information on the tang. Uh, but let's get it out of this plastic. It's causing quite a bit of glare. I'm going to actually open this up with a, with a knife just to make it a little easier. But we've just got a couple of little pieces of tape. So this has never been opened. So this is kind of my first look at it. And we'll quickly get it out of the packaging here. Get that off to the side. And have a look at the knife. So we've got the sheath foot blade already out. Now they're saying this is a two and three quarter inch blade, so we'll measure and see if that's accurate. There's your little Swiss Tech Tang etch there on that side, and then the blade type, Moss well, Eight on that side. Again, titanium coated. Looks like a really long uh, nail nick there, and then an aluminum bolster, marbled carbon fiber, and you got some. Uh, T-nuts there, holding it all together. Those look like maybe T-6s. Let's check that out. Let's T-6 wrench right here. And that won't fit in there. So yeah, those are tiny. Maybe a T-5? Hard to even know. Yeah, but my T-6 is not fitting in there. So I'm guessing those are... Uh, Another odd size or smaller size. Hard to say exactly what. But uh, yeah, there's your back springs. Again, those are titanium coated springs as well. So it looks like it's just blacked out. Makes me wonder like the aluminum bolsters there, what they're coated with. I don't know, maybe it's coated with the titanium as well. But have a little bit of a wonky end of that sheep's foot blade. But there's your blade edge. And we'll we'll test the sharpness of this thing. See if it's cutting through paper with ease. No half stop on it. And I'd say the pull strength is uh it's probably about a five. Snapback is a little a little bit weak. I mean not super weak, but it's a little snappier into the open than the close, the walk and talk. All right, so let's get a measure on this one. You've got a measure of two and three quarters, so I'd say that's pretty accurate. 
Let's see if uh, there's any information on the second blade. So yeah, clip point blade is quite aggressive actually. You can see the way that that tapers off. You got a really thin point. And that's not one that you're going to want to uh, do any prying with, even in the slightest bit. I could see that snapping off real easy. But OS8 steel, so, you know, not bottom of the barrel, but certainly not a modern super steel by any stretch, but you've got the uh, a blade etch with the uh, brand Swiss Tech there, and then the knife name, the dot pelt on that side. Again, you get a long pull, and a good look at that blade edge. That is one fierce point on this thing. Crazy, crazy pointy. Uh, I would imagine this is. Pretty accurate to the uh, measurement of the other one. Mm, looks like this one is maybe just shy of that two and three quarter inch mark. Just a little bit, but pretty close. Pull on this one, pretty much identical to the uh, sheep's foot blade. Say about a five. Good lockup though. Staying put. No worries there. Um, not much of a sharpening choil. You'd probably be best suited to put one on there for yourself. Uh, yeah, it could use a little bit of a deeper choil maybe, but it's it's there. Short tangs on these, not super extended out. So you do get quite a bit of cutting edge. On this particular blade, I'd say you get uh, slightly over... Two and a half, so let's call that two and five eighths inches on the cutting edge there. Again, no half stops on this, so let's check out the uh, cutting edge on this one. Yeah, about the same, two and five eighths. Uh, but just a little bit wonky at the end there. I don't know what's going on. There's just maybe a little bit of a bow on that side and then a little high on that side, but. Yeah, it's not too bad. Let's uh, let's give it a paper test. See how well she cuts. It appears to be pretty sharp, but looks can be deceiving. Uh, I mean, it's it's getting through there, but it could definitely use being touched up. My guess is you probably could strop it and see some improvement. Uh, let's check out the other blade. So yeah, that blade appears to be a little sharper than the uh, sheep's foot blade. Yeah, adequate. Not a razor or anything, but it's... Uh, It'll get the job done. Uh, Os8 steel, a lot of people uh, have kind of been familiarized with that with the Rat 1. That was what the original Rat 1 had. And when that came out, no one really complained. But now that there are other options, uh, I hear a lot of people say they would much you know, prefer D2 or other blade material. But for a budget knife, uh, not too bad for something that you can buy locally. That's, again, like 32 to $35. Probably just depends on where you live and what they're charging. Uh, the price online is right around 35 34 and Oh, what was it? thirty four ninety seven something like that. Yeah, thirty four ninety seven online. Before shipping. But again, you get that Swiss Tech logo on the bolster. Just on the one side, the sort of smallish torque screws there. But I think the carbon fiber looks pretty nice. The marbling looks pretty good. Not just one solid pattern, sort of randomized. Feels really nice and smooth in the hand. All the transitions are really nice. No sharp edges. Across the bolster feels nice. Let's feel the interior of the liners. 
always seems to be like a, an area where you may have issue, but no, that is very smooth. You can see even the, uh, the liners are coated. So I don't really know what those are, if they're uh, stainless or what. But I would imagine they're probably just stainless liners with that black coating on them. But Dop Pelt is what we're calling it. And, uh, you know, Swiss Tech, they make other, uh, they make other knives for Walmart. I'd never heard of the brand. They've apparently been around since 1994. Um, I think I've only ever seen Swiss Tech at Walmart, so I don't know if they're available anywhere else. But uh, something that kind of intrigued me because it's, you know, not often you can buy a Barlow at uh, Walmart other than possibly like maybe the old timer when that came out. But I'm not really seeing that knife available at Walmart either. Close length on the handle. That is right at three and three quarter, I would say. So about an inch longer than the blade. So that's a pretty good ratio. There's what that looks like in the hand. You get a full four finger grip. Uh, with either blade, they're tucked in there pretty tightly. The tangs aren't very much exposed. You can see that's pretty well uh, lays down in there pretty nicely. And uh, let's take a look at that one as when you got it in there. Pretty much the same. They're pretty much identical in their height. So uh, no matter what blade you're using, going to be pretty comfortable. Maybe just a little more comfortable with the sheep's foot blade because it does poke up just a little bit here, but still not uh, uncomfortable, I would say. You can get a nice firm grip on that. Uh, blade shape is pretty cool. I just, uh, I would be a little worried about the durability of that tip. You're definitely going to have to be careful just keeping that to a straight line, not uh, trying to bend it or, you know, <clears throat> puncture and twist or anything like that. As I can see that being pretty delicate. But it does appear to be pretty sharp. I think a hone would uh, touch up that sheep's foot blade a little bit. Make it a little sharper. This could be improved as well. I, I can just kind of tell that the, it's not like a razor edge on there. But eh, it's sharp, but not uh, dangerously sharp. Let's fill this one again. There's spots on this actually right here that are quite sharp, and then it gets kind of nah, not so much as you go further up. So, yeah, a little bit of a strop or hone. Maybe you can kind of refine that edge a little bit. Overall, not a bad knife. Uh, you know, we're looking at sort of, I guess, like Rough Rider quality. Maybe not even as good as Rough Rider depending on what rider, what rider we're talking about. But not too bad. I mean, the spring's a little light on the initial part of the pull, but they do firm up about right here, and it does lock up nicely. So not bad. Nice and smooth action. It's smooth enough. And I haven't oiled this. Obviously, I just got it out of the package. It doesn't appear like I really ever had any oil on there. It doesn't doesn't appear to have any there's some uh yeah you can see the brass bushings there so this one has the brass bushings in there we take a nice peek in there on both blades you can just see that on the ends or phosphorus whatever it is that they're using there but yeah there definitely is some washers in there so yeah, not too bad. And again, the profile of that is really nice. Uh, you don't often see the blades get tucked in quite like that. So they they kind of paid it, attention to the, the height of those blades quite a bit, it appears. 
So overall, not too bad, not too shabby. I mean, if you're uh, you're into Barlow's, you want something a little bit modern, but don't want to pay a ton. I mean, there's a lot of more expensive options that uh, look pretty similar to this. So, you know, for the look, I would say not too bad. Not the greatest blade steel, but you know, it's not horrible. And you could definitely uh, improve it with just a bit of time and uh, attention to the blades. So that's going to do it for my review, guys, of the Swiss Tech Doppelt. Available locally, so, you know, one of those knives shouldn't be too hard to find with uh, as many Walmarts as there are out there. Uh, I found it in the first store that I looked, and uh biggest problem is trying to get a hold of the lady with the key. But if you can do that, you know, $32 to $35, why not? Try it out. That's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We'll see you next time. Take care. Friends.